Hi, good morning and welcome down to Devon Coy Pond on another beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous this morning, about half past seven in the morning. Absolutely lovely, I've just chucked in a couple of handfuls of food. We're popping around at that in a minute. Hope you've all had a good week. I'd like to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, if you want to catch up on the old videos, they're all on the channel. All kinds of subjects covered, so get over and have a look at them. But today, I've... Uh, started to uh, fill out the crest trays. I'm uh, not doing very well with the water crest. For some reason I just can't get it to grow. Whether it was the stuff I had, it took a long time to come in the post. I should have just gone down Tesco's in the first place and bought some, which I'm going to do later today. Also need a couple of planter trays, so I'm going to visit a local uh, aquatic centre. But uh, let's have a look and uh, see what's going on. I've got some bubbles this morning. But, uh, fish seem well happy. <coughs> As you can see, all the blanket weed problems are gone. Water is absolutely brilliant again. Got the main air stones turned off a minute. Water is absolutely fantastic, actually. I've uh, got the air stone on uh, by the skimmer, keep the pallets away from there. All's going well in the veg. As you can see it's in a mess here, I'm in the middle of tidying up. I'm doing another job which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, over to the uh, trays. So, as you can see, this is what I've decided to do with them. So I did a zoom like this. Put the alpha grog into some pots. Walk through. And down the side of the pots I've shoved a bit of foam so the water is uh, kind of forced up and down, up and down through each pot as it goes through. But uh, the cress that I've had over in here more or less since I uh, planted this is just going yellow. It's grown a bit but it's missing something. It's something I haven't got in the water, either there's not enough nitrate to grow it or it's a bad batch of cress, but I think it had a hard time in the post. But I'll be carrying on with that, I'll show you where I'm getting the grog from in a minute for the pots. See the veg is looking good. Got, uh, couple of lily buds up there at the surface now. Uh, I get this little visitor crawling out from the underside lip of the pond. How did it get all the way down in there without falling in? It's flying. Hope your ponding week's been good for everybody. I've got uh, my plastic tress tray, press tray out in the corner here. This seems to be doing slightly better. It's not quite as yellow, but I really don't know. I'm lacking something here. There's not enough nutrients in the water to grow it. I think, I think that's the problem. So. That's the tray from there. So it's coming through uh, the jack matting and the foam's jammed down the side of the tray so it has to go up and down, up and down over it. And I've uh, still got this last tray to populate here. I'll show you where I've been taking it from. As you can see the Mimbulus Nimbulus really growing well. But uh, this is what I've started doing. I've uh, started painting. One coat so far, I've got to go over it again on those bits, but I've only got as far as here for now. But, uh, in the bottom down here, this is my pot of Alpha Grog. It's a 40 litre tub in there. 
the holes and mesh in the bottom and air stones as well and all the water goes into that churn for it and then goes through the veg filter that's where I'm stealing the water from at the moment I'm the alpha grog from at the moment but I think this beastie here is uh, causing me why my uh, watercress won't grow which is a shame I need to get the black paint all over all of this a couple of coats I wasn't going to paint it because once you've painted it you have to keep on painting it I was just doing it with a clear sealer each year but black koi pond yeah black If anybody's got any ideas on why the crest ain't going, I'd like to know. I just don't get it, full stop. Should be growing, but it's not. Barn that's all pretty good down here. Next week uh, video I'll have finished the painting and you better see it all proper. Obviously I'm going to have to do a few things here, like I've got uh, the Black Devon Koi Welcome plaque here. And the plaques on the other side that are black. I'm gonna have to do like a white uh, background to go behind them, or they'll get lost in the black paint. But I'm just so uh, glad to have my water back clean. Bit of poopy on the bottom this morning, but the amount they've been eating, I'm not surprised just topped myself up with another 10 kilos of food I don't know how far that would go but the way they're going through it I'm still showing carp pops on several of the small ones they still haven't shifted it yet it's looking less but they still haven't shifted it seem to be taking their time this year A bit of protein on the surface this morning. Now this, uh, I can genuinely say, it's the first morning where I've seen a bit of this. Maybe the skimmer going in a bit. And I'll sort it out. I'll put the uh, pond air back on. skimmer off a minute all looking very good fish very very hungry getting through good 200 uh, grams uh, a day and then eat more plus several handfuls of prawns freeze-dried prawns they absolutely love those all fresh water um, shrimp, you calling them prawns. The freshwater shrimp, they'll go for a couple of handfuls of those and they're like piranhas when you put those in, especially the orf. They come up and sail along the surface with their mouths open and just uh, whoop and gone, whoop and gone. Fantastic. So I hope you're all uh, enjoying the sunny weather as well. So, on with the black. So, pop down the bottom of the garden a minute I'll give you a view from down there I'm debating whether to paint the block wall as well if you think I should paint the block wall say so in the comments slapped a coat of stuff on the garden shed the other day that was most enjoyable still need to give it another coat See the uh, black and the contrast of the block work there. Shall I black the block work as well? Shall I just leave it? I don't uh, really look at it myself down here. 
but uh, I think it would look nice black. See, that's as far as I've got there. Got to work my way across. So, this is the uh, 40 litre tub of your valve for grog that I'm digging into to fill that river up. Get in there with it. But, uh, I want to get that one out of the way now. I might be able to see the fry there in here. I've caught the odd glimpse of one or two, so I know they're still in there. doing any painting today until the sun's off it. Tea time. Alright, give the fish the rest of their breakfast. Sunny Devon, all's going well. I don't know why the cress ain't growing, can't understand it. I'm going to get some different cress and try that. Go Tesco's and pick up a fresh packet of the day, a couple of packets. Probably do both actually, with Tesco's and Morrison's. Get a pack of both, give it a try. Garden centre as well, get some planter baskets. I need uh, three or four more. But, uh, about five, I need five more of those big ones. Some more of those. Fitting that other tray. Get the rest of the grog out. Popped in there. So if you think I should paint that wall black down there as well, comment in the comments down there. If you don't like the black and you think I made a big mistake, laugh. Tell me in the comments. But we'll see. So I'm down here in Devon. Hope your pond is going well. I'll say hi again to all the new subscribers bit of happy pond into you. Don't overfeed your fish. I know they're hungry. You overfeed them, you'll have a lot of problems. Give them what they'll eat and what will match your filters. Keep testing your water twice a week at least if you're heavy feeding. Things can go pear-shaped very quickly. Okay, so enjoy your ponding. Bye from Devon. <laughs>